We're live, I'm pretty sure. I think we are. Hi, everyone. Um, yep, there we are. We are live. We are so excited to have you here. Hello once again. I'm Diane Provito, the Assistant Superintendent of Oceanside School District, and I am joined by the most special guest, Dr. Phyllis Harrington, our superintendent. We are so excited to have you here today for Oceanside, Oceanside Go, Go live. live episode. And for episode four, we have a very special book in store for you. Dr. Harrington will share all about that. Before we do, we want to go ahead and introduce another special guest. We are, are of course, in the beautiful home of Dr. Harrington. She's wel welcomed us. And we are joined by her lovely daughter, Emma. You want to come and say hi real quick? <laughs> Emma will be reading right alongside um, Dr. Harrington. So I'm going to go ahead and step out and let her join you. Enjoy the reading. I'll see you when it's done. So hello, everybody. I am so excited to be a part of this very, very special event. And as Ms. Provito said, I am particularly happy to have my daughter, Emma, here. She's doing her student teaching this spring semester. Um, she's going to be a, an amazing music educator someday very, very soon. So I am thrilled that she was willing to be a part of this this evening. When I decided what book I was going to choose, it was really a very simple decision for me. Um, some of you may know that we've been talking a lot about rainbows this year. And the reason for it chose an idea about being a rainbow cloud. Yeah. Very special new beginning of the school year. So rainbows are very important to us this year. And as a result, I chose the beautiful book. This is one of my favorites. And I know as a principal, I used to read this all, all the time to my students a, a number of years ago. So we're going to be just in the I do. There are a couple of people that tuned in last time with us. And I want to make sure we give a shout out to Kayla Mon the Riccatoni family, Angelina, Edgen, um, and a very special welcome to Matt and Leo Kagan. The GAN team is watching live this evening, and I have an Emma here, and there's actually a special birthday today. So happy birthday, Emma DeFrancesco, and so happy you decided to spend your birthday evening with us reading along with the story, The Rainbow Fish. I was going to be uh, monitoring the live chat, um, but we'd like to really begin our story, The Rainbow Fish by Marcus Feister. And I hope you can appreciate the beautiful pictures because they really are quite beautiful. Here we go. A long way out in the deep blue sea, there lived a fish. Not just an ordinary fish, but the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. His scales were every shade of blue and green and purple, with sparkling silver scales among them. The other fish were amazed at his beauty. They called him Rainbow Fish. Come on, Rainbow Fish, they would call. Come and play with us. But the Rainbow Fish would just glide past, proud and silent, letting his scales shimmer. One day, a little blue fish followed after him. Rainbow fish, he called, wait for me. Please give me one of your shiny scales. They are so wonderful, and you have so many. You want me to give you one of my special scales? Who do you think you are, cried the rainbow fish. Get away from me. Shocked, the little blue fish swam away. He was so upset. He told all his friends what had happened. From then on, no one would have anything to do with the rainbow fish. They turned away when he swam by. What good were the dazzling, shimmering scales with no one to admire them? Now he was the loneliest fish in the entire ocean. One day, he poured out his troubles to the starfish. I really am beautiful. Why doesn't anybody like me? I can't answer that for you, said the starfish. But if you go beyond the coral reef, 
to a deep cave, you will find the wise octopus. Maybe she can help you. The rainbow fish found the cave. It was very dark inside and he couldn't see anything. Then suddenly, two eyes caught him in their glare and the octopus emerged from the darkness. I have been waiting for you, said the octopus with a deep voice. The waves have told me your story. This is my advice. Give a glittering scale to each of the other fish. You will no longer be the most beautiful fish in the sea, but you will discover how to be happy. I can't, the rainbow fish started to say, but the octopus had already disappeared into a dark cloud of ink. Give away my scales, my beautiful shining scales? Never, how could I ever be happy without them? Suddenly, he felt the light touch of a fin. The little blue fish was back. Rainbow fish, please don't be angry. I just want one little scale. The rainbow fish wavered. Only one very small shimmery scale, he thought. Well, maybe I wouldn't miss just one. Carefully, the rainbow fish pulled out the smallest scale and gave it to the little fish. Thank you, thank you very much. The little blue fish bubbled playfully as he tucked the shiny scale in among his blue ones. A rather peculiar feeling came over the rainbow fish. For a long time, he watched the little blue fish swim back and forth with his new scale glittering in the water. The little blue fish whizzed through the ocean with his scale flashing. So it didn't take long before the rainbow fish was surrounded by the other fish. Everyone wanted a glittering scale. The rainbow fish shared his scales left and right. And the more he gave away, the more delighted he became. When the water around him filled with glimmering scales, he at last felt at home among the other fish. Finally, the rainbow fish had only one shining scale left. His most prized possessions had been given away, yet he was very happy. Come on, rainbow fish, they called. Come and play with us. Here I come, said the rainbow fish, and happy as a splash, he swam off to join his friends. And that's the story of the beautiful, beautiful rainbow fish. So I know how smart the boys and girls are in the Oceanside schools. And I know that you realize that the message given by this story is that you are so much happier when you share and are friendly and offer support and love to friends and people around you. And that really is the theme of also being a rainbow in someone else's cloud. I think we have some messages, Ms. Provino. The last message wow. I'll share a little more about you, Roman. Okay, so my goodness, we have Anna Quinn. Hi, Anna. Thank you for joining us. The Zirianas and Napolitano family. Hi, Zoe. How are you? So happy you could be with us. The Chasen family, the Bullis family with the littlest, littlest Bullis, <laughs> the Goals, the Sporings, Anna Carter, Finn, Rumini. Hi, Finn, how are you? And Erica Teach? Now, if I may, I'm going to slip right in there. Thank you. So, as it turns out, Erica Teach sent a very special message. She remembers Emma H. <laughs> Somehow or another, it seems that Emma H. was in her class. Is that what it is? Uh, yeah. I when she was student teaching. Oh, when you were student teaching. So look at that. There's connections everywhere, and that's absolutely wonderful. I just want to add also the Vivona family is here. Nice to see you, the Vivonas. And Finn's brother, Christian, is also enjoying the book. We don't want to forget you. We appreciate the Sil the Silbermans. Mrs. Sporing is here in the house. And everyone else who's coming out to listen to a great story. I saw on the sidebar that this happened to our Really? Yeah. Well, it's been my favorite for a very, very long time. I'm able to share it in such a special way. So certainly, Ms. Provito, thank you. Uh, thank you. And thank you for joining us again. I hope you can come on in here. We love doing OSD Go Live. Everybody, anchor yourself to a great book. And um, have a great night. Have a good night, OSD Go Live. <laughs> good night.